Prepositions show relationships. Excuse me. Oh. Well, what's up, T-Rex? Why are you late for class again? You know, extinction's really catching up to me. Well, go ahead and have a seat. Well, uh, before I was so rudely interrupted, uh, we were talking about prepositions. And um, prepositions, uh, we show relationships. What are you doing, T-Rex? Oh, oh, sorry. You know, there's like not other dinosaurs to eat, so like, he looked pretty delicious. Uh, okay, all right, I can't even. All right, so we have the shower down here. It's the noun. We want to see the relationship between the shower mm. and the students. Um, so we have the preposition. What's up? What do you mean? I have a question. Is it, is it related? No. Okay, um, well, what's your question? What, what happened to all the other T-Rexes in the world? Well, you see, all the other T-Rexes in the world have gone, well, they've gone to another place. Um, maybe we can talk about it later. At, to relate the students to the meteor shower. It's like, what? Meteor shower? Hey, what are you doing? Ugh. Mold! Dinosaurs in class. It never works. And here's your first episode of CHS TV! <laughs> CHS TV. For TV Production Club, we plan to produce a newscast every month that informs you about the sports, clubs, and other events around the school. We are excited to show you our hard work. Here are some announcements. QPM is Thursday at 6 p.m. in the Charlton. Make sure you're there. Soccer is 4-0. Uh, speaking of volleyball, I hear they're 11-0. Uh, now here's Hayden with some volleyball players. Take it away, my dude. Thank you, Riley. I'm here with two volleyball players, and they're going to teach me the fundamentals of volleyball. I'm Whitney. And I'm Bella. And I'll be teaching him the fundamental setting and hitting. Hi, I'm Jen. I'm going to teach you how to set. Um, you go to volleyball. <laughs> you hold your hands in a triangle right over your forehead. Do that. And then you're done. I'm ready. How to hit the ball. You hold your arm up in a 90 degree angle and put your thumb to your ear and toss the ball right in front of you and hit it right at the top. I got this. I'm going to leave this to the girls. Back to you, Alyssa. Hey, Hayden. I'm here with the captain of the soccer team and he's going to teach me the fundamentals of soccer in 30 seconds. Okay, so here I'm going to teach you how to actually pass the ball the correct way. So. Ball's on the ground. You want to hit it with this side right here. Your thumb's at. You're going to pass it in the middle of the ball. Yep. See? Middle of the ball. So now I'm going to teach you how to stop the ball the correct way. You want to pass me the ball? And you're going to stop it like that. Not over. Go lower. Right in the middle. Yay! I did it! Okay, now this is my signature move. Now back to the host. Wow, don't we have some talented players? Oh yeah, we do. Hey, aren't you in Bay Club? Yes, I am. Aren't you? Yeah, I am. Do you know of anything that's happening soon? Uh, no, I know, but I know who does. Here's Kira with the Club of the Month and a glimpse of Paul Flink. Hi everyone, this is Kira and this is... Luis Obregón from Beta Club. And today, obviously, we're going to be talking about Beta Club. Um, I have a few questions for you, if that's okay. That's okay. Right. How long have you been in Beta Club? Uh, I was inducted in, uh, in my sophomore year, so it's the sophomore year how, I've been in Beta Club. How, are there any upcoming events to be aware of? You no, know, absolutely. There is the induction ceremony um, that we're going to host at the auditorium 
uh, next Thursday, October 27th. In what time? September 27th. What time will that be at? Uh, that, no, I don't know. Okay, that's fine. Um, how at, is our, after school, after school. Okay. How is our school helping our community by doing the canned food drive? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so our school is raising awareness on many issues regarding uh, hunger, uh, child malnutrition, uh, many, many things like that. And we are uh, collecting all our cans to help those in need. What is one of the current projects Beta Club is working on? Uh, so we're uh, working on preparing ourselves for the next national convention for Beta Club. Um, we're doing a lot of work. We are getting ready. Um, we are uh, just going out there. We hope to bring in some awards this year. Um, so yeah, we're just getting ready for the national convention. Thank you, Luis. And stay tuned for next month to hear our club of month. Challenger students are very smart. Oh yeah, in fact, I'm super smart. Ask me anything. Okay, what is pie? Easy, you got blueberry pie, American pie. No, 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 no. Pie. I mean numerical pie. Oh, that's easy. It's uh, 3.145926535 and some other numbers. Wow, you are smart. Thanks. We have a special correspondent working right outside just to find out how smart our Challenger students are. Here he is, Mr. Whalen. Thanks, Riley. Um, as you guys know, we have some of the smartest students at Challenger, right? I mean, they're amazingly smart. Um, and so we wanted to find out how, just how smart they, they are and how much stuff they know. What is the state capital of North Carolina? Raleigh. It is Raleigh. Uh, Raleigh. Raleigh? State capital of North Carolina is Raleigh. Raleigh. Ooh, no, it's Charlotte. Sorry, that's oh. close. That's close. Um, did you know it was Charlotte or no? Yes, I was the trick question. It was a trick question, okay. Just... <laughs> Who is the governor of North Carolina? I forgot. He's the like the head official in the entire state. I, for I forgot. Pat McCrory. It is not Pat McCrory. No. <laughs> is he the old one? He's the old one. He is oh. the old one. Roy Cooper? Roy Cooper, yeah, yes. right. good job. Can you name any state official at all? State senator. I forgot him. McCoy. McCoy, Tony McCoy? No. No? Okay. Yeah. Pat McCoy? I feel like that's wrong. Pat McCoy. I don't know. <laughs> Roy something. Uh, Roy Rogers, does that ring a bell? Roy Rogers. Uh, okay, hi. Right. Um, what is the state nickname? Um, Tar Heel State. Star Hill State. Go Heels. The Tar Heel State. Um, the Tar Heel State. Say Go Heels on the camera. Go Heels. <laughs> <laughs> Who had the largest signature on the Declaration of Independence? John Hancock. John Hancock. Yeah, ding, ding. That's right. Um, Ben Franklin. Not Ben Franklin. John Adams. John Adams is incorrect. John Hancock. John Hancock. That's correct. I think Thomas Jefferson. It's not Thomas Jefferson. Washington. Not George Washington. What are, who are the four presidents on Mount Rushmore? Mount Rushmore. Thomas Jefferson. There's one. George Washington. John Adams. We got Washington and Jefferson. Abraham Lincoln. Lincoln. The only one left. Theodore Roosevelt. T Teddy Roosevelt. Good job. Any, any famous presidents that may be on there? Really famous one. Like super, super famous. Andrew Jackson? No, yeah. he's pretty famous, but like even more famous. Civil, War, Civil War famous, maybe. Hamilton. No. Ah, uh, shoot. It's a great musical, though. It was a great musical. Well, I don't know. Like Civil War, kind of famous. <laughs> Freed the slaves. Okay. I'll, give you, I'll give you one, Obama. It's not Obama. Okay, sorry, it's not Obama. Okay. What's, 
what's the first name? George Bush. <laughs> no, not George Bush. Uh, George. What's his last name? Sorry. Jeff. Joy. Uh, George Jefferson. Jefferson. George Jefferson. Good job. Who is the vice president of the United States? Mike Pence. Mike Pence. Correct. Mike Pence. Uh, Mike Pence. It is Mike Pence. Shoot. I don't know. Troy. No, go ahead and say it. Troy Cooper. Seriously? No, it's Mike Pence. Oh. Sorry, that's, that's close though. <laughs> that would be. I want to say Vladimir Putin. Vladimir Putin, that's right, that's right. Vladimir Putin. All right, what is the state capital of North Carolina? Well, that's an easy one. It's the city of Oaks, Raleigh, which is in Wake County. That is correct. Uh, who is the governor of North Carolina? Uh, Roy Cooper, and he's the 75th governor of North Carolina. 75th governor, you're correct. What is the state nickname? Uh, the Tar Heel State, because during the Civil War, we didn't back down. We would, we just stand, stood our ground, you know? Go Heels. All right, who is the Vice President of the United States? Michael Richard Pence. Mike, that's correct. Uh, who has the largest signature on the Declaration of Independence? John Hancock at about 1.3 inches. Okay, that's very specific. And who are the presidents on Mount Rushmore? Oh, well, that's an easy one. And if you don't know what Mount Rushmore is, it's a monument to our four greatest presidents of all time. You got George Washington, got Abraham Lincoln, Theodore Roosevelt, and Thomas Jefferson. It was constructed from 1927 to 1941. Nice job. Back to you, Riley. Ha, thanks, Mr. Wynn. Before we let you go and get started with your PAAs, we want to introduce this month's PAA theme. Let's see what Carlina and Valerie have to say. So, Car. Yes, Val? What's this month's theme for PAAs? I'm not sure. Do you know? No, I actually don't know. But I know someone who does. All right, stop. Collaborate and listen. I sit back with my brand new. This PAA theme? There are three different things. And Carlina's going to be telling you all about them. Car, take it away. The three PAA themes for this month are collaboration for success, collaboration for support, and digital citizenship. But what exactly are these three things? So collaboration for success is basically going out in your community, having teamwork within your PAA and doing stuff like that. Going out, helping your community, helping your PAA. If you know of someone that's in need, going to a teacher, things like that. Collaboration for support is helping the PAAs to learn to work together with collaboration. My favorite is PAA football, personally. Uh, digital citizenship, I'm pretty sure I said that right. And uh, just being safe online, doing the right things, <laughs> hey, Ms. Stone. So today we're going to ask you a few questions about this month's PAA theme. So the PAA theme is Collab for Success, Collab for Support, and Digital Citizenship. What does collaboration mean to you? So collaboration to me is a group of people who are working together towards a common goal. So it's not going to be just people sitting around, you know, in a group and one person is doing the work while three other people watch. It's everybody has a role and they're actively working towards achieving a goal together. And do you have any ideas for how your PAA can showcase this? Um, so I think PAs can showcase this by working together like on service projects and things like that. Things that will benefit and help the community in our school. That's great. Thank you so much, Miss Stone. Thank you. Okay, thank you all for watching CHS TV and I hope you stay tuned for next month's episode. Stay tuned for next month's mystery. Oh my, oh my, oh my gosh! gosh. Go.